Hello, and welcome to NetNanny Mobile for Android. This short video tutorial will walk you through customizing your NetNanny Mobile users. In our previous video, we covered creating users and the basics of applying those users to your mobile devices. If you need help creating a basic user and applying it to a device, please see the video Creating Users for NetNanny for Android. To customize your users for NetNanny Mobile, you'll want to log in to the remote web admin console. You can do this by using any web browser and going to admin.netnanny.com. I'll go ahead and log in here. After you've logged into the admin console, you'll be taken to the home page. The home page is where you can get alerts, see total site count, total blocked allowed or warned categories, information about the top warned or blocked sites. Alerts up here at the top will notify you if a device that is running the NetNanny mobile software is not checking in with the service or potentially has the software removed. Today we want to cover customizing some of your existing users to do things like whitelists and blacklists, create some enhanced settings, or potentially custom categories. In our last video, here under users, we went into the option and created a new user. Today we will go in and customize an existing user. So I'll click here on Justin. As we pointed out in our last video, these are the settings for allow, block, and warn for categories of content for Justin. One thing I did want to point out that was not included in our last video was the profanity masking option. This is a great NetNanny mobile feature because it allows you to mask profanity or vulgar language that's found in a website without having to block an entire site because of a comment or a post put in a social media or blog site. Today we're going to go through the process of creating a custom whitelist. The way that you do this is through custom categories. You can see these custom categories down here at the bottom. The easiest way to edit custom categories is to go to the overrides tab up here at the top. If you tap on the overrides tab, you'll be taken to the overrides page. The first part of this page is custom categories. You'll notice right now I have two custom categories, my allowed sites, my blocked sites. You can create your own custom categories. These can be specific to a user or to your family, uh, maybe to your children, depending on what you need. I'm going to go ahead and create a new custom category. I'll click Create Category. Over here on the left, we'll call this Sites Blocked for My Kids. Below you can enter a description. This is pretty self-explanatory. And then over here in the middle of the screen, we're, we can select who will use this new custom category. By default, all users are selected, but you can change this to apply to an individual user by removing the check mark and clicking the Select Users button. Here, I'll choose which of my users will have access or be using this custom category. In my case, we'll only apply it to Justin, and I'll say Done. You'll notice in the green box here where it says Justin, below this category is set to always allow. You can easily change this by clicking on the box and changing it to block or warn. In our case we want this category to always be blocked so we've changed the custom category to always block for Justin. Now that this custom category is created we'll want to add some websites to the category. You do this by clicking on the add new URL button or adding the URLs or websites you wish to have in this custom category. We'll just add a couple here in myspace.com. Maybe Justin's been wasting too much time on a gaming site, so we'll block this site as well. You can also use wildcards or be as granular as you'd like when adding these URLs. For example, I could block weather.yahoo.com and Justin would still have access to the other portions of yahoo.com. Once I've added the URLs or websites I wish to include in this custom category, I simply click Save. You'll notice now we have a new custom category over here on the right called Sites Blocked for My Kids. If I go back to the User tab and click on the User Justin, now down at the bottom under Custom Categories, you'll notice our new custom category called Sites Blocked for My Kids. This means that this custom category is applied to Justin. If I don't want this custom category applied to Justin anymore, I can remove it simply by clicking the X next to it. Using custom categories is an easy way to create custom allowed or blocked lists for users or devices in your NetNanny mobile setup. You can always verify that a user profile is associated with a device by going to the Devices tab up here at the top and looking at the username associated with the device in the device card. This has been an overview of how you can use 
custom categories in the overrides tab to create your own whitelists and blacklists for your family or for your devices. Thanks for using NetNanny Mobile for Android. NetNanny, complete online peace of mind.